compound pendulum. The required apparatus for the experiment is the pin, the meter rule, the stopwatch, and uh, the uh, G clamp and retooled stand. So the aim of the experiment is to determine the acceleration due to gravity by means of compound pendulum. This is another uh, option or uh, another uh, another method that can be used in place of a simple pendulum. So for a simple pendulum, all that is required is a string attached to a bulb and students don't have to worry about the center of mass. And for a compound pendulum, it requires a rigid body which has a position where when pivot is placed, the meter will be equally displaced or will be in equilibrium. So, and also the student should have to make sure that, we have to make sure that the pin here is horizontally, is balanced horizontally. And when placed, when the meter will is set, should also have to take precaution by making sure that no uh, by making sure that there is no uh, attraction or there is no contact between the metal rule and the two edges of the pin, the wooden part and the other end of the pin. So the procedure are, if you look at my metal rule, it has been drilled in space of 5, 5 cm to length 40. So we're starting with 5, then move to 10, 15, 20, 25, which is the center of mass, uh, 30, 35, uh, 40, and 45. So also, before allowing the meter rule to swing for 20 oscillation, the 20 oscillation is for accuracy. One have to make sure that it's up to 20 to be accurate. And also, the displacement that should be taken, or before allowing it to swing, will be approximately 45 degree, which is the angle required for a projectile body to achieve maximum height. So this is somewhere around 45 degree away from the retreat stand. So student will now re uh, displace it to approximately 45 degree, and then while uh, setting all the stopwatch. And also, students have option to either use a digital stopwatch or use the analog one. But digital is more accurate, so I prefer to use my digital stopwatch. But this is somewhere around 45 degrees, and now I will allow it to swing for 20 oscillation. One, two, three, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have recorded our time T1 as 22.30 second. Then student will do the same thing for the same position or the same length, which is 5 centimeter, to record time T2 and then take average and divide the average by 20 oscillation for the period of t. So student will keep doing the same thing until when it reaches the center of mass. And the actual height is going to be the center of mass minus the length where the meter will be set to swing. So for the first length is going to be 25 minus 5, which is 20. For the second length, will be 25 minus 10 which is 15 and for the third length it's going to be 15 minus 25 which is going to be 10 and so on and so forth so at position 25 which is the center of mass 25 minus 25 will, will of course give zero centimeter so when set at position 25 the meter rule is not going to have a two and four motion anymore but rotation 360 degree. So therefore, we we'll record zero all through because there won't be any oscillation. And then when students move to the length of 30 also, 
the displacement is going to be set in position of 30 but the swinging is going to be in the other part of the meter so we're going to set it somewhere around 45 as well but the moment you release it the swinging is going to be in the other way around and therefore the, uh, the, the, the length is going to be recorded as negative 30 or sorry 25 minus 30 which is negative 5 so and that's how the student will continue to do to take a, a different iteration until the last length which is 45 centimeter so the remaining work is going to come under the analysis the equation will be provided for student to relate with straight line equation to check whether the graph is going to have an intercept start from the origin or have a different behavior entirely. That's all for the experiment.